What's up, y'all? I'm back. Shoot, I got like, it's 11.32 right here, so I'm drinking my last soda. And um, I already had some ice cream. <laughs> yeah, he's like, yeah, you rad? Yeah. <clears throat> I be running to eat junk food. Yes, that's why I run. I eat, I run to eat junk food. <laughs> for real, for real. Uh, we ain't, all right, 13.15. Oh, yeah, so public declaration. Man, praise, 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 and praise. You got to praise him, not just by talking, but you got to praise him. You got to open up your heart. You got to sing worship song praises to him. Um, excuse me. That's soda. So, excuse me, sorry. Let's go to, oh, I did this for the AC. We say all the time on the air, look up. I should have got some gas. <laughs> worship him, and all the noise of the world fades away. Hebrews 13, 15 says, Therefore, <laughs> let us offer through Jesus a continual sacrifice of praise to God. That's what, <laughs> That's what we just read. Amen. That's what we just read. Hebrews 13, 15. <clears throat> praise God. We got to praise God. Open the declaration. Oh, God is good. God is good. God is good. So... Make sure my battery don't die. So we're going to go back to Romans 10. Man, God is good. We just read that for Hebrews and then he just said it right there, Hebrews. So 1315, Hebrews 13 does I and we can continue on. And then NCI. So, for the scripture says, No one who rests his faith on him will be disappointed. For there is no distinction between Jew and Greek. And disappointed was Isaiah 28 16. And I believe we already read that one. So, we'll go to 28 Romans 9.33, which is just a page backwards. And that says, And it is written, and it is written, Look, I am like, I am. Laying in Zion a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense, but the one who rests his faith on it will not be disappointed. Amen. Philippians 3 9. Where did I see that? I saw I went over it, but I saw it today somewhere. No, it was uh 4-6. Four, 4-6. Six. Four, six. Six. What was it that I saw? Um, four six. Is it Philippians four six? Is there such thing Philippians four six? Let's see. Go eat popcorn. What is Philippians four six? Something just popping off for me. There is a Philippians four six. Do not be anxious over anything, but in everything be, but in everything by prayer and supplication. Ah. Always rejoice in the Lord. Again, I will say rejoice. That's a good one. Philippians 4.4. 4. Let your reasonableness become known to all men. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious over anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication by, with thanksgiving. Let your petitions be made known to God and the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and your mental powers by means of Christ Jesus. Amen. Oh yeah, woman well, God put that up. I was wondering three nine where I was getting that at, but then when I read that uh, so anxious, then I be anxious. I really knew what's up. That's very true. And just like uh, uh, Matthew six thirty three, seek the kingdom first, and everything else shall be added onto you. Um, amen. God bless you. All right. So M is going to be Romans nine thirty three. You just read that one. So there's no distinction between Greek and Jew. And that's going to be Acts. Make sure I wrote that one because there's some of these I didn't do. And that one's going to be what number? Uh, Christopher, Christopher, Christopher. Yeah, Acts 1579. That one says um, Acts 1579. And that's going to say. <clears throat> After much intense discussion had taken place, intense discussion had taken place, Peter rose and said to them, 
Men, brothers, you will know that early, from the early days, God made the choice among you that through my mouth, people of the nations should bear the word of the good news and believe. And God, who knows the heart, bore witness by giving them the Holy Spirit, just as he did to us also. And he made no distinction, distinction at all between us and them, but purified their hearts by faith. Amen. First Peter one twenty two, real quick. We're gonna do a First Peter one twenty two, and that says, "Let's see, Peter one twenty two. Now that you have purified yourself by your obedience to the truth, with." unhypocritical brotherly affection or sisterly affection as the result love one another intensely from the heart 23 for you have been given a new birth not by corruptible but by incorruptible seed through the word of the living and enduring God for all flesh is like grass oh and all its glory is like a blossom uh -uh, of the field the grass withers and the flower falls off. But the saying of Jehovah endears forever. Amen. And that saying is the good news that was declared to you. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Amen. That is good. That is good. All right. Back to Romans 10. And um, continue on. There's no so for everyone who calls on the name of Jehovah will be saved. Joel 2:32 and that's page 1242 because I looked it up. So 1242s over here and Joel right there. See 232 memory memorization is the, the one of the key things you want to have in life. Excuse me. Uh, that's the whole thing of life. Life is about memory, you know, most of memory repetition. I already told you about this right Okay. 232. Anyone who calls on the name of Jehovah will be saved. Amen. For the Mount Zion in Jerusalem, there will be those who escape, just as Jehovah has said. The survivors whom Jehovah calls. Amen. 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 So you better hope Jehovah knows who you are. And then we're gonna go to Galatians 3:28 and that says oops there's no 3:28 Christopher go to Galatians 3:28 oh that's Colossians that says there is neither Jew nor Greek there is neither slave nor freeman there is neither male nor female for you are one in union for Christ Jesus amen I was just talking about this so like I get excited there's, there's no men in war women are better men are better you know race no all that's like <clears throat> it just said it right there there is neither Jew nor Greek there is neither slave nor freeman. There's neither male nor female. Uh, for you are all in union with Christ Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. Moreover, if you belong to Christ, you are really Abraham's offspring. Here's, hires, or here's, H-E-I-R-S. I can't really say that word. With reference to a promise. Amen, amen, amen. God is good. God is good, God is good. Acts 221. Okay, man. Power AC up in here. It's kind of hot. Excuse me. <laughs> you know, crazy. Acts what? <laughs> oh man. Man, man, man. That's what happens when you start talking. How's everybody doing tonight? I hope everybody's having a good night. I hope everybody's good. Uh, I, yeah, my love goes out to y'all. Goes out to you. 
Uh, may Jehovah God protect you, keep you safe. May the angels protect you, keep you safe. Make sure you sleep with God's angels. Make sure you say your prayers for you can sleep. Uh, save them for other people, because sometimes people forget. Uh, forgive us for our sins. Forgive your people that forgive people that have sinned against you. Let's just have a good life. Let's just be happy. You know what I'm saying? Be there for one another. Push each other up. Let get, let's let go of all this fear. You know what I'm saying? Scared to get rid of this fear. Sorry. I get high. I start getting high. I start when I start getting loud. I want to chill out. <laughs> you might want to chill out. I'm pretty loud. Yes, you got like a big old dude in there, like a big old, big old dude, and they go, oh, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. <laughs> yes, yeah. All right, big homie. And uh, Acts 221. Try to keep the side comments to a minimum. Acts 221 says, um, And everyone who calls on the name of Jehovah will be saved. Amen. Amen, amen. I believe that 100%. 100%. I don't believe that 1,000, but let's just take a seed in that 1,000, like uh, Isaiah 61. Uh, no, Isaiah 60, the last one. That one. Okay. Let's see, the 1,000. And then, um, Romans, remember where you're at. And I forgot, guy. Talking about uh, a little one. <laughs> and I forgot about. <laughs> All right. It says, uh, for everyone who calls on Jehovah will be saved. However, 14, how will they call on him if they have not put faith in him? How in turn will they put faith in him about whom they have not heard? How in turn will they hear about someone to preach? How in turn will they preach unless they have been sent out? Just as it is written. Just as it is written. So we're going to go to Matthew 28, 19 and 20. Oh, yeah. This is one of my favorite scriptures in the Bible. Go out to the to the, all the nations and preach the good word. Sorry. For real. Watch. Matthew 28. Go, therefore, and make disciples of people. Oh, yeah. And look, 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 look. Disciples of peop people, baptizing them in the name of the Father, that's Jehovah, in the name of and of the Son, Jesus Christ, and of the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, the Helper, Comforter, teaching them to observe all the things I have commanded you. And look, I am with you all the days until the conclusion of the system of things. Amen. So it is true. God is with me. I understand that. Uh, that is my job. That's crazy. Matthew 28, 19 and 20. That's me right there. That's all of us. That's everybody. Everybody got to do that. Go therefore before and make disciples of people of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all the things I have commanded you and look I'm with you all the days until the conclusion of the system of things amen Jesus Christ Jehovah God forgive us for our sins In Jesus Christ we pray amen amen we come into agreement man God is good God is good God is good to be good today every day is God's good he says, how beautiful are the feet of those who declare the good news of the good things. Isaiah 52, 7, and then, of course, Ephesians. You know, Ephesians, the, the shod, you need the feet from the shod. 52, 7, got to be ready to preach the good news. Isaiah 52, 7, how beautiful. <laughs> how beautiful. On the mountains are the feet of the one bringing good news. God is good. The one proclaiming peace. The one bringing good news of something better. The one proclaiming salvation. The one saying to Zion, your, your God has become king. Amen. Amen. Man, God is good. God is good. 
God is good. Or read that again. 52 said, which reminds me of somebody. How beautiful on the mountains are the feet of the one bringing good news, the one proclaiming peace, the one bringing good news of something better, the one proclaiming salvation, the one saying to Zion, your God has become king. Amen. And we're going to finish off at Ephesians 6. Uh, God is good, man. I'm telling you, God is amazing. He's, he's like so fast too. 14 and 15. So fast, like instantly. Like less than like an hour, a couple hours, you know, like for real, I'm not lying. I'm being dead serious. Ephesians 6, 14 and 15. Stand firm, therefore, with the belt of truth fastened around your waist, wearing the breastplate of righteousness, and having your feet shod in readiness to declare the good news of peace. Jehovah God, we want to thank you so much for your love. We want to thank you for your protection again, Jehovah God. We're just so, we're just so grateful for everything you do, Father. We're just so grateful for everything you do, Jehovah God. So please help us to be humble, Jehovah God. Please help us to open our hearts to you, Jehovah God. Please help us to open your hearts to your people, Jehovah God. Please help us to help your people, Jehovah God. Please help us, Jehovah God, and save us, Jehovah God. Please send your angels to protect us, Father. We're just so thankful, Jehovah God. We're so thankful, Father. We're so thankful, Lord, and praise you. We just praise you so much. Please forgive us for our sins, our, gra our gratitude, our gratefulness, our thankfulness. We just praised all to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Man, we love you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. Glory to Jehovah. Hallelujah. God is good. God is good. All the time, all the time, God is good. Let your will be done. Uh, God, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth that is as it is in heaven. Give us, this, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thy is the kingdom, the, the glory and the power forever and ever. Amen. Uh, walk by faith, not by sight. Y'all have a great night. I love y'all. Don't go tell them um, tell them haters come on. I know y'all want to come. Come on. Get it. Lay up.